Good morning. I'm going to show you how I made my bucket garden, which is right over here, that you never have to water ever. Okay? So check it out. I have my rain barrel set up here that catches water from the carport. It fills up completely 55 gallons in about 10 minutes of rain. Connected it, as you can see, through just standard. Got my overflow at the top on that right side. Connected it, got it to a hose. All right. Ran the hose around the fences and over to here. Here's the system. Got it connected to my gutter system right here. This will hold 18 buckets, nine on each side. I have 16 on right now because I just like the way that that's spaced apart. But what you do after you get your hose, the first thing I did was this is a rain gutter. Okay, so I took just a standard rain gutter, capped it on both sides so that it was waterproof, and took two two by fours and screwed, as you can see, screwed the gutter with multiple screws on either side. Can't see them under the lip of the gutter, but screwed the gutter to the two by fours. If I had to do this again, I would probably go two by sixes. Not sure though, the two by fours are working okay. Then, after I completely waterproof the gutter on both ends from Amazon, you can get this uh, little float valve right here. This works just like a toilet valve, okay? So you just screw a hole into the side of your gutter. And actually, I'll show you this one because this one's more just of a direct screw. So you screw your hole into the gutter right here, put the float in, okay, and then adjust the float valve to where when the float valve goes down, see if you can see it, the water right here, as you can see, comes in from the rain barrel. And then when it lifts up, that water that was coming out right here turns off. So now the water's flowing. Now when the water gets to a certain place, the gutter comes up and it shuts the system off, okay? So you got the gutter holding the water and the float valve telling when the water needs to come in and when it doesn't need to come in. Now, this valve is the same valve, but it's a little different cap on this side which I did on purpose because I wanted in case I wanted to make a whole bunch of these I wanted to be able to daisy chain these together so I just took some uh, fuel line and got this this is a barbed in under here that I just put this hose under and if I wanted to make a whole bunch more all I would do is just pull this off put uh, one of those T splitters right here and then I could just take a little bit more hose and add it to as many as I want and that one rain barrel that sits over there could feed as many of these gutters as I wanted to have. Now the way the gutters are done, I got these four gallon buckets from a local bakery. They came with the lid for a dollar a piece. So I got these buckets and then what I did is I went ahead and it's a two and seven eighth inch bit. It has to be this size, a two and seven eighth inch bit, made a hole Okay, my main hole and then just a couple small air holes around the side. And then this is a standard three inch net pot that you can get at a hydroponic store or you get them on Amazon. I got 20 of these for $5 um, on Amazon. Just a standard three inch net pot. After I drill my holes, I put this net pot at the bottom. Push it down. Put the net pot at the bottom of the bucket. So now you have this net pot that sticks out of the bottom of the bucket. You compact the dirt into that net pot, and it's got to be potting mix. It cannot be soil of any type, top, top soil, potting soil. It cannot be soil. It must be potting mix because it's got all of the little pieces of styrofoam and, and uh, moisture-retaining properties in potting mix that any soils don't have. So you take potting soil, you fill it up, fill up the net pot, water it so that you start what they call capillary action which just means it's going to wick real similar to if you take a t-shirt throw it down by a swimming pool and a little bit of the sleeve is in the water you come back a couple hours later and the entire t-shirt's wet it's the same idea so you wet the soil and kind of compact it into that pot into the net pot then i put about a third full on the bucket of soil and compacted it down just light compact and then the remaining two-thirds I put very very lightly with soil you can see this tomato plant right here this is very very lightly light soil for the last two-thirds 
of the plant. Now, this is the beauty of the whole system. You'll see, let me see if I can get it now. The net pot is on the bottom and sits in the water that's in the gutter. Okay, so put this down and that net pot is gonna go into the water and the plant, just like the t-shirt that was halfway in the swimming pool, that plant is going to suck up water from the gutter to the roots of the system and it's going to drink when it wants so you don't over or under water anything and then as the plants drink up in the gutter you got this float valve that will obviously go down as the plants drink when it goes down as you see again right here the system opens up it fills back up it shuts everything off after the float comes up and the plants continue to drink at their leisure so right now like I said I have two 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 gutter systems right now I got romaine and butter lettuce here I got spinach two spinach plants here I got yellow and red kale right there I got a tomato here tomato bell peppers orange and two green bell peppers so I got all my tall standing things in the front and then in the back I got some two cucumbers here Cu or excuse me that's watermelons some watermelons in those pots I got two cucumbers in each of these three pots there. I got some cilantro to see how that goes. And then I have six strawberry plants in these two buckets. And I'm gonna take something on the fence right here and put it down at an angle. So these are all the vines on the back side, And I'll give all those vines something to grow on. But in the meantime, I planted them and now I'm done with them completely. All I'll do is come out here and, uh, and harvest it when it's ready. I don't have to water it because the rain, the rain is going to take care of filling up the barrel, which it's supposed to rain today, and then the float will take care of when it's time to water after the plants drink at their leisure. Um, I think it's pretty cool, and I've seen people with systems that have up to 20 of these gutter systems. If I were to do it again, I don't know if I'd use aluminum gutters. I'd probably use the vinyl gutters. I think they're probably a lot easier to waterproof and a lot easier to work with, but uh, I can tell you everything I did here. I think it's pretty cool, and again, the only reason these these floats are different is is this one's got a threaded valve at the end because I wanted to see how that would work and this one's got a barbed valve in case I want to daisy chain a whole bunch of these together without buying the expensive brass fittings so if I was to do only one or two of these and leave it at that I'd probably use just this threaded fitting if I was to do a whole bunch of them like I said I would start with the barbed float and continue to daisy chain them together but that's my system Lettuce, I'm hoping, will work because the biggest problem with lettuce is people overwater it. And that's not the case here. I won't over or under water. So we'll see. The biggest thing will be, I also have my garden planted way on the back side over there. And the tomatoes are on the real far side. I planted those tomatoes one day earlier than I planted these tomatoes. Same goes for the uh, bell peppers. So it'll be interesting to see in a month or two who, wh where they are in the race. Who's doing better, the ones in the ground or the ones in the bucket? But that's the system. Hope you enjoy it. Maybe try it out yourself. Love you guys. Bye.